Our top story today, Typhoon Lingling Ling is inching closer toward the Korean peninsula and is already causing damage to the southern and western islands and the coastal areas. As typhoon warnings are in place for most parts of the country, emergency authorities are strongly advising people to refrain from going outside. To hear more about the powerful typhoon, we have our Kan hyung who's at the Panpo Hangang Park in Seoul. hyung how's it looking? Mugyeon, as you can see, the wind is getting stronger by the minute. I came out here about an hour and a half ago, and it wasn't as windy as it is right now. The maximum wind speed of Lingling Ling has gone down a little compared to yesterday, but it's still powerful enough to uproot trees and flip over cars. The maximum wind speed of the typhoon was over 160 kilometers per hour yesterday, but according to the Korea Meteorological Administration's forecast at 7 a.m. this morning, Typhoon Ling Ling's maximum wind speed was measured at 140 kilometers per hour. Now, if you look at the expected route of Ling Ling here, it was still over the West Sea near the southwestern city of Mokpo at around 9 a.m., which is about an hour ago. In about two hours, Ling Ling is forecast to be its closest to Seoul as the eye of the typhoon is expected to be some 100 40 kilometers away from here in the West Sea. But Ling Ling is not likely to sweep through the capital city as it is predicted to move its way up into North Korea from the West Sea and go through Pyongyang. Weather experts are saying the biggest threat from Ling Ling is its strong winds, not the rainfall. So hyung with such strong winds blowing towards the country, what are some things that people can do to minimize the damage? Well, first and foremost, it's strongly advised that you do not go outside with Typhoon Ling Ling expected to do the most damage today. Now, if you're in the storm's path, please keep your smartphone close and watch the news on the TV or on the radio. Again, uh, stay indoors if possible. But if you have to go out, uh, keep away from construction sites and traffic lights. If you're driving, drive slowly and do not take roads next to rivers or streams as the water level could increase rapidly and pose a threat. If you live in an area where there might be a landslide or a flood, you should learn the community evacuation plan and how to get to the closest safe zone. It's also important to have a first aid kit at hand in case of emergency. Experts say, according to research, Taping the window panes does little to protect them from strong winds, so it's important to fasten the window by taping its frame instead. If you apply a safety film, it can also minimize the damage from shattered glass. When a typhoon hits, flooding is another common hazard, so it's important to check the sewers and drainage systems to make sure they're working properly. But if your property becomes flooded, do not go inside. Even if the water is drained, you should get help from the authorities as the presence of home appliances can pose a risk of electric shock. Now, there's no way to stop the storm from coming, but we can try to reduce the damage by preparing for the worst and following the advice of the emergency authorities. Stay safe and we'll keep you updated on the latest in our later newscast.